Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. On this channel, we discuss problems which are frequently asked in many programming interviews and we go through the step by solution of those problems. Also, we discuss the space and the time complexity at the end of the video solution. So today the problem which we are going to solve is maximum value of equation. It is a hard problem on lead code and it was asked in lead code weekly contest. The problem statement is we are given an array of points containing the coordinates of uh, points on a 2D plane. So we are given the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. Also we are given uh, an integer K. Now using this integer K and those points which are given on the coordinate, we have to find the maximum value of the equation this. So this is the equation which we have to maximize. The summation of Y coordinates of these two points plus the absolute difference of the x coordinate of those two points. The condition should be the difference between uh, the x coordinates of those two points should be smaller than or equals to k. So this is what we have to do. For example, if we see uh, the first example here, the first two points satisfy the condition x i minus x j is smaller than or equals to 1. The k was given to be 1. And if we calculate the equation, we get uh, this as the resultant which is 4. Now third and the fourth point also satisfy the condition and the given value is 10 plus minus 10 plus 5 minus 6 which is equals to 1. So 4 is the best possible answer in this case. Now we are going to solve this problem. We have to solve this problem in big O of n because the constraints are 10 raised to the power of 5. Now let's see how we can solve this. First of all, we are sure that the the given array is sorted in terms of x coordinate. So let us say this is x0, y0, then we have x1, y1, x2, y2, x3 and y3. So these are the four points. Now we are sure that x1 is greater than x0, x2 is greater than x1 and x3 is greater than x2. So it is sorted on the basis of x coordinate. Now in uh, when we are comparing two points, let's say the first and the second point, the first condition that we have to check is the difference, the absolute difference in x. So the absolute difference in x is nothing but x1 minus x0 because it is sorted. Now looking at the equation, the equation is yi plus yj plus xi minus xj. It is yi plus yj plus absolute of xi minus xj. Now this thing where oh it is also given that j is greater than i. Now when j is greater than i x of i will be smaller than x of j. So this equation can be written as yi plus yj plus negative of this one. So it will be x of j x of j will be in plus and x of i will be in minus negative sign. So this is the final equation that we are getting. Now let's say we are at a certain index j. Let us say that this is the jth index. So for the jth index we have to add the x and the y coordinates. So this is in positive, this is in positive. We can simply write this as x of j plus y of j plus y of i minus x of i. So this could be written as this and so if we are at the jth index we simply have to add the x and the y coordinate and then from the all previous uh, points on the coordinate plane we have to see we have to check for those point for which the condition satisfies the condition is the difference between the x coordinate of those points and the x coordinate of the jth index should be smaller than or equals to k that is the condition 
and for those points which are satisfying the condition we have to get the point which maximize this thing now in order to maximize this we have this already constant and from all the previous indices this is the part which is changing so the changing part is y of i minus x of i so this is something that we can store for all of the previous indices and we can maintain a max heap priority queue for this value of all for all the previous indices and for those indices which are satisfying the condition which we have already discussed we can maximize we can take the topmost point from the priority queue or from the max heap so let us see how we are going to implement this in actual code first of all we will have to maintain a priority queue of type uh, one more thing there the priority queue that we are going to store should be of type pair of int comma int because we are not storing a single value we should be storing two values in the priority queue the first value according to which the priority queue will be sorted is this value this one the next value of the pair will be the x coordinate it will be the x coordinate x of i so that we can verify our condition so we have to verify the condition of this xi with respect to current jth index so we are storing both of them pair of int comma int p for int i is equal to 0 i is more than points or size i plus plus while p not empty and p dot top dot second so this is x and the current x is point of i minus this thing point of i zero minus this thing Till the time this thing the difference between them is greater than k till that time we have to pop out those elements because they are no more needed now if not p dot empty and there's always one thing that we need to take care of because the priority of this uh, not and and operators sometimes they conflict so we should take care of the these parentheses now if p dot empty so there's still something in the priority queue in that case we have to maximize our answer answer is equals to maximum of the previous answer and the current possible answer the current possible answer is this thing plus p dot top dot first and then finally return the answer initially let me take the answer as int min so now we are simply traversing it and then trying to maximize the answer I think okay one more thing we are inserting nothing into the priority queue and we should be inserting it so we should insert p dot we are supposed to insert these two things the first thing is this the first thing is this and second thing is x of i so it is points of i 1 minus points of i 0 comma points of i 0 this is the x value x coordinate so let us try to see it is not insert it should be push
the answer is correct for the given test case four and three we are getting correct answer let us try to submit this so it got accepted now coming to the space and the time complexity first of all in the worst case we are going to insert all of the elements into the priority queue and when we will do that we will be uh, using big O of n space another thing is while inserting into the priority queue the time that it takes to insert each element is log n where n is the size of the priority queue so if we insert n elements into the priority queue the total time it will take is n log n so the time complexity for this solution is n log n and the space complexity is big O of n if you find all these videos useful please leave a thumbs up and please comment down below that what in future do you expect for me to make uh, so there could be a possibility of making some interview experiences or some lectures on specific topics such as dynamic programming or bit manipulation or trees graphs so you can mention those and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you